Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Sector Waifus episode 20 of the UF Carrier Only Let's Play and the Hegemony Inspection Fleet has just turned up at Xi'an and we are having none of that. Let's kill him. Let's kill him good. If you do like this video, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Moving to engage. Let's go. Everything. Because we want to show the hegemony that we don't mess around. We do not mess around. If you want to come after our planets, we will come after your everything. It's just everything. <laughs> so... The Mirai and the Avenger are off to grab the control points. The rest of the fleet are pushing in. Absolutely stunning. Two Nuxorias. Zaporia, Isonoria, four Exorias, two Shinorias, one of them being an SP, and the Andromeda. The basic old Ex Exoria that uh, has been with us for a long time. Probably needs to be upgraded. Refit. But uh, she does she, she, she does her job. She's a staple. She's a staple. There's a wolf down. Excellent work. That should be an enforcer down and a hound down. And all of our ships are going to begin getting in here. And soon, there goes Asunder. We should just be eliminating everything at a rapid pace. A rapid pace. These are tanky, though. What are you? And why are you so tanky? Are you a dominator? Can't tell if that's a dominator or not. Is that an enforcer? It might be an enforcer. We have taken down another enforcer elsewhere. But you are. He just does not want to go down right now. Damn, he is an enforcer. An enforcer XIV. Oh, I don't know what an enforcer XIV is. Is that a different class of enforcer that I've not run into before? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh, I mean, it appears to me that uh, Dominator down, Kite, Kite, Kite down, Manticore down. It appears to me that we're having zero problems here. Zero problems. There goes an eagle and the other eagle. Um, yeah. There goes a the monitor. Monitors are amazing, by the way. Uh, and now it is just their battleship. Which is oh, hoo, hoo, going to die very quickly by the looks of things. Um, it took, I think it took a Reaper to the front there. Which is where its big hull damage drop happened. And there you go. There goes the Legion. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Wait, they have more ships? Oh, they have more ships coming in. They have been reinforced. A lot of things retreating. Valkyries retreating. Everything else getting disabled. Woohoo! Prometheus destroyed. Dram destroyed. There we go. What got away? Troop transports? Nah, we need to eliminate those troop transports. Second in command. Take the Exorias. Go. Eliminate them. Excellent. Well done. We will take everything. Of course we will take everything. Absolutely marvelous. And uh, the Hegemony AI inspection has failed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ooh, advanced turret gyros. Gyros, even not gyros. <laughs> oh, we've already learnt it. Oh, we can just sell it then. Marvellous. Marvellous. Is that a... Is that a... Pirate fleet pursuing the Persian League relief convoy? Which only has a kite left? Oh dear. Well, that's not good, is it? That is no good. Go ahead and repair our ships there. And uh, we will have a look at what we have access to here. Uh, we have 36 days. Uh, until Wait, our auto station's disrupted? Did the hegemony... Wait, how did... What? How did our orbital station get disrupted? I do not know. Um, irradiated waifus, heavy industry is being upgraded to an orbital works at the moment, 120 days. 
the uh, patrol HQ is still disrupted for another 193 days uh, because of those blasted Magellans. Is this a pirate fleet right now? Yeah, seriously? You guys, get the hell out of our system. Get the hell out of our system. We do not want you here. No, we do not. We do not want you here one bit. Uh, the pirates are sending a vengeance fleet to us. Uh, is that is that is that to us? Due to your reputation with the pirates, an enforcer fleet is being prepared, assigned to seek you out and eliminate you if possible. Ah, oh, bring it, bring it. With a waifus, we don't care. <laughs> We don't care. Let's go ahead and have a look at our intel uh, bounties in the area. Oh, there's an Isonoria up for grabs. There's a couple of Shinorias as well. Yeah, let's go. Let's see if we can pick up the Isonoria. A second Isonoria, more importantly, a second Raffleusia. Sounds amazing to me. Sounds amazing to me. There's a sensor ghost. Yeah, apparently there is a Terran world where uh, where we're going. There is indeed a Terran world. We will have to survey it. This could be a possible expansion for us. This could be a possible expansion for us indeed. But first, we are going to move in to engage and take out this fleet. We'll send in the Nixorias. Uh, yeah, and the Isonoria and the Exorias and the Minorias. We'll send the Minorias out to Alpha and to Gamma. And we will sit back and watch the show. All the fighters launch. Oh, well, it never gets old. Never gets old. Beautiful to watch. Absolutely stunning. Um... So at the moment we're uh, we're doing two different series on the YouTube's at the moment. We're doing this one, waifus. We're also doing realm builders. Um, realm builders is an interesting one. I got a lot of feedback about people enjoying the fact that it isn't uh, it isn't combat focused and it's much more focused on like building colonies and 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 building um, uh, building uh, or like playing the without the the combat or away from the combat and focusing really on building a huge colonial empire. Um, it's not doing too well in terms of numbers. It is it is doing it is it is doing poorly in comparison to waifus um, And I think that's probably because as much as there are a, a, an audience of people that enjoy the non-combat aspect um, There is also um, There is a semi-brief firing right now uh, That just took out a bunch of fighters and nothing else <laughs> um there is an audience for uh, people that want like something that isn't just a lot of like combat. I think um, the majority of the people that enjoy watching Star Sector definitely, you know, they they they, they want the combat, um, and that uh, that is that is that is pretty clear to me. Um, cool, we we are we are doing some work. Their raffles here hasn't been launched yet. Neither has ours to be. Oh no, ours has. There it is. There goes the raffles here. What's his target? That Rolaru? Yeah. Seems about right to me. That enemy Rolaru is definitely going down, though. Woo! Sure is. Sure is. And this Rolaru has got its back to the Raffles here. Oh, but I think the Raffles here missed its bombs. The Raffles here unfortunately missed its bombs there. So that Rolaru is going to get to live another day. Which is a shame. But then so is our Raffles here, so that's okay. So is our raffles just so that's okay. That Shinoria is going down. Stunning. That Rolaru is he's half health. It is half health. So it might have been hit by some of the raffles just bombs. They they haven't launched their raffles yet yet, which is very curious to me. Why have they not launched their raffles yet yet? Um Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh that Rolaru is about to go. There it is. The Rolaru's are fantastic vessels, but they're definitely not the toughest vessels out there. That's for sure. They are fantastic, but they are not tough. Um, this Isonoria is going to get absolutely overwhelmed in fire. Um, look at that. It never never launched its raffles yet. 
It never launched its raffles yet. I find that very interesting and very curious as to why the uh, the AI I scenario never launched their raffles. But it looks like we're just chasing down some targets at the top of the map here. Uh, a uh, regular, regular old Exoria. Uh, which is retreating. So is a Minoria. Mm. We will chase them down. Because deserters, bad. Deserters, bad. Uh, pursue. Second in command. Take the Exorias. There you go. Ex no, their Exorias still managed to get away. Damn. That's oh, I didn't try and... Oh, I messed up. I messed up, guys. I messed up. I forgot to try and salvage. Got to try and salvage the Isonoria. In my haste, I accidentally hit the no button. Oh, we did get paid. We are going to perform a survey. Class 5. Abundant organics, rich rare ore deposits, and rich farmland. Wow, this is actually better than Xi'an. This is actually better than Xi'an. <laughs> uh, it does have a bit higher um, of a hazard rating because of high gravity. So it is, it is less habitable. But it is super, super, super awesome. Otherwise, we could just establish a colony right now, right here, but I don't think we should. I don't think we should. What else is in this system? So it's literally just two jump points and two stars. And then if we if we come away, there is a bunch more stars. Let us... Yeah, let us let us have a bit of an exploration. Let us have a bit of an exploration. What was that? I see you. Dominator, derelict dominator. Okay. Go ahead and salvage you up. Sure. Sure thing. Always happy to salvage up a lovely cruiser. So. There are no planets within range of any of those jump points. Hmm. Over here is a medium warning beacon. There are two planets. And it is a medium warning beacon, of course. Two planets are a desert world and a barren world. Interesting. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of debris. Of debris. Let's go ahead and survey this desert world. Widespread ruins. Well, now. I don't mind the planet. Explore the ruins. Wait, there's a hail? <clears throat> a ship, a ship, a ship, a ship. Yes. Gods, we are glad to see you. For the longest time, we were wondering if there was ever anyone else out there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There was even anyone else out there. My name is y Vada Yoon, and I can't wait to shake your hand. I see. I happen to be in need of some heavy armaments. In return, we can give you some food. Uh, sure, I want to help. Is that it? Excellent. A pleasure doing business. With it. Just, oh. Interesting. Well. We'll explore the ruins then. Oh, ho, 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 ho! we found it! No, wait. We've already we already know this one. We already know this one. All blueprints in package already known. Ah, oh well. I got excited for no reason. I got excited for no reason. <laughs> Oh, there is there is stuff around this star though. Small minefield. Oh, and just some derelict ships. Mm, okay. 
Research station, though. Let's go. Uh, we will attempt the download. What do we got access to here? The Dominion, the Maelstrom, or the Oriax? Well, we can't use any of them as part of this challenge, so uh, I think we'll go with the Maelstrom. And then we'll go ahead and salvage. And woo! Magellan Advanced Blueprint Package, Colossus Blueprint, Falchion Blueprint, Phase Lance Blueprint, uh, Stabilized, Spe Stabilized Shields Mod Spec. That's a huge mod spec. Solar Shielding Mod Spec. Interesting. Ah. Seastim Dispatcher. Uh, interesting. You know, we still haven't found a Wincom mod spec yet. I've been looking for a Wincom mod spec since the very start of this playthrough. Um, but the Psycho Combat Stimulant. Components of the stimulant require recreational drugs. Interesting. Administer combat sims directly to the pilot. Oh my. Oh my. Hmm. Well, we'll take it all. We will, of course, double dip. Where we will find an MVS blueprint package. Raise wing blueprint. Imperial armor package mod spec. Only compatible with Imperial units. Well, it's useless to us then. Still. Cool. There is something else out over here. We will have to investigate. What are you? Just a hammerhead derelict ship. There's a lot of derelict ships in this system. There's a lot of derelict ships in this system. The military base at Xi'an is complete. How exciting. There we go. So now we are producing marines ourselves. Um, which is huge, huge, huge. Uh, the military base also increases our ground defenses here. Um, and it increases our fleet size from the Alpha Core as well, which is huge. I like it. I like it. We are, we are ever growing. And very, very soon, we're going to be ticking over to a size 5 colony as well. From tens of thousands to hundreds hundreds of thousands which is going to be absolutely wonderful mm, mm, mm. two days left on the disruption on the orbital station as well which is absolutely wonderful Ooh. and if we have a look at our oh look at that now we are now we have heavy industry and stuff our heavy patrol has exorias lots of exorias minorias that's so fantastic to see. Exoscars, Bitsurais, Arias, oh, Hibiscuses. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love to see it. Still have shepherds sliding their way in there, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, oh, there we go. No, she no more shepherds. Wonderful. No more shepherds. We do have a Nikki here in there now. Um, that looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Magnificent. Magnificent. There's a minor weapons cache here too. We'll check it out. Uh, nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting at all. Uh, and we'll check out this barren world as well. We'll survey it. Don't think there's going to be all that much. Industrial ruins and extensive ruins. I was wrong. Well now. That is a lot of ruins. Uh, do we have a B VPC? We do. Uh, let's go ahead and use the supplies VPC. Yeah. Ooh, only 23%. That's unfortunately low. 
That is unfortunately low. But uh, an empty forge template, a beta core, uh, a gamma core, you know, it's not too bad at all. Can't really complain. Cannot really complain. Um, can we only, so we can only explore one of the ruins. Interesting. Or maybe that just counts as both when we do it. Maybe that just counts as both when we do it. Anyway, let's get on out of here. So in terms of this system, we'll just pop down and check gamma. Um, see if there's anything down here at Gamma. There are some planets. There are some planets. Let's see. There's a toxic world, a barren bombarded world, and that is it. But we will check them out anyway. Just a class one with moderate ores. Okay. 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 <laughs> Uh, and this one is just a class one with a button or deposits. Okay. So that Terran world is nice. That Terran world is nice. But it isn't. No, I mean, what am I saying? We're definitely going to be. Oh. You want to go? I will right, we'll go. Sure. You want to go? We'll go. I am quite happy to go. <laughs> Let's go. Fight. Can you cope with the amount of fighters that I can put on the field, pirates? And I know the answer already. And the answer is no. No, you cannot. Okay. They are in for a rude awakening. I can't believe they actually engaged us, honestly. I would have thought they would have just turned and ran, but they wanted to engage. So, uh, well, see a falchion. See a wolf. <laughs> we are going to eliminate. Oh, there's a semi breathe. There's a semi breathe. Oh, look at the amount of ships that just got destroyed. Look at the kill feed. The kill feed. <laughs> Magnificent. Magnificent. It's it's brutal. Look at it. Just destroyed, disabled, destroyed, destroyed, disabled, destroyed, 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 destroyed. You gotta gotta learn to do better, pirates. But I guess you won't learn because you're all gonna be dead. So yikes, I guess. <laughs> Just stunning. There's, there's, there's nothing I can do but just sit back and watch it be beautiful. Truly. Truly. We're almost down. There goes the venture. This tanky, tanky little enforcer and this Colossus. And that should be the end of that. Should. There is a ship right out the top here. Don't know what it is. Oh, I'm, all of a sudden, I've got a really yawny. Just yawny, yawny. <laughs> okay. Uh, we honestly won't bother. We won't bother. You know what, actually? No, there is an officer on that ship. We will pursue them. Exorias, do the job. Good work. Good work. Grab it all. Regretting that decision, aren't you? Oh, was that the Vengeance Fleet? Oh, that was the Vengeance Fleet. Oh, that's why they engaged us. Because that is the Vengeance Fleet. I see. I see. I sees, I does, I sees. Yes, I does. I does indeed, I sees. Uh, begin salvage operations. Ooh, heavy armor mod spec. Mean we're over cargo capacity. What do you mean we're over cargo capacity? I guess we are actually. Yeah. Just chill here for a moment while we repair. 
And we'll grab some more. Actually, it's, it's, it's just metals, isn't it? I'm not that fast. It's just metals. It's not a huge amount of money. Well, the Vengeance fleet has been destroyed. I have decided something. And this might be crazy. This might be crazy. But I want to take the Corvus star system. I want to take Corvus, which means taking Jangala and Garnier. We'll leave Asharu to be the, to the independence because we like the independence. Because I want that gate. I want that gate. And I want to be a little closer. You know, we'll, we'll have Shian and the irradiated waifus and we will continue to work with them over here in Alpha Maculata. But I'm honestly, I, I want to be, I want to be closer. I want to be closer to the core. And where does that mean? Well, if we look at our enemies, we could go to Naraka. There's two hegemony worlds there. We could take Naraka. Um, but it's an arid world and a barren world. And it's like, oh, well, you know. We could go to Aslan, which is also hegemony. But again, it's a barren desert world and a barren bombarded world. And I'm like, well, you know. Nah. And then, there's Galatia. And I could go to Galatia. There's an arid world and Syra, And then it's two indep in independence. Galatia could be a good choice. Galatia. Does Galatia have a gate, actually? If Galatia has a gate, then maybe Galatia is a good choice. Hmm. Anyway. We're going to go and fly down there and check him out. And the easiest way to do that is to head over to Slew. So this is the closest gate. It is in a heavily remnant system, but we should be able to manage to get our way through. Fingers crossed. And uh, we will. Um, hold on. I If I open the map and I look at Slew, the gate is up here. So I want to head to this jump point. Oh, which is this one. Lovely. Okay. We should be fine to get to this gate. Scan it. Travel through it. Two Corvus. Initiate transit. And then we want to head over to Galatia. Wait, I could have just opened the map. I've been to Galatia before. I have it surveyed. Could have just opened the map. There is a gate. Yeah, right next to the orbit. Okay, we're going to... I think Ansira is going to be our target. We're going to take the Galatia system. We're going to take the Galatia system. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Uh, that is going to be the next stage in the waifu's domination, is taking the Galatia system. Uh, this is um, this is possibly... This, this playthrough might possibly turn into a Galactic Conquest playthrough. Uh, at this rate, we'll see. Um, if it's going to take 50 million to buy a Novaria, um, then there's a good chance that Galactic Conquest is going to be the way that we get there. Because really, 50 mil, like the main way to get that is just to get our like our income from planets and colonies and everything real high. Real high. So, um, uh, let's go ahead and just hand in this data core. Lovely. And then we will head over to the gate here. We got a story point. Nice. We got a building block. Get a colony to size five. Boom. Nice. Oh, wait. Yeah, she's on size five. Huge. Huge. Which gets, means we get an additional industry. Which is massive. Absolutely massive. Though, I'm going to be entirely honest. Before we do that. We're spending our money on a battle station. Yes, we are. Upgrade the orbital to a battle station. We need it. Let's go ahead and scan the gate. Let's travel through it. Well, actually, let's not travel through it. It's now scanned. Let's go and have a look at the defenses of this place. Um, it is just an orbital station. Oh, engage it. Let's go. Continue to battle. We will begin with the Exorias and the 
Aphasaurs. And we will eliminate the orbital station. There goes the semi breathe. There it goes. It's going to make it. It's going to make it. Beautiful. Kaboom. Magnificent. Stunning and wonderful. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. These stations just don't orbital stations just don't stand a chance we like they just they just melt under our firepower at the moment but there it goes it's done it's finished <laughs> i'm i'm probably a bit of a fool for being like yeah okay sure we're gonna do some galactic conquest style stuff we're gonna go fight the hegemony <laughs> like yeah who's who's the biggest Who's the biggest faction? The hegemony. Right, we're going to fight them. So I'm probably a bit of a fool on that front. But hey, you know what? If this Let's Play ends in a blaze of glory, combating the anti-AI overlords that are the hegemony, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Okay, so what are they? have got 480 from militia, 216 from marines. We won't be invading yet. We will not be invading yet. Uh, but what we will be doing is uh, hopping through the gate down to uh, to Favonius. Yes. Oh, well, we can. Uh, good old gate travel. We're going to head down to Favonius. We're going to hopefully pick up our affiliate program, uh, which is supplies and fuel. And we are also going to uh, grab uh, what are we going to grab? I'm not entirely sure. What are we going to grab? Uh, we're going to grab um, Marines and heavy okay we sold off uh, a whole lot of our inventory so now we can purchase a whole lot um 276 heavy armaments should be plenty of heavy armaments uh, so we'll just focus on grabbing marines now we will just focus on grabbing all the marines we can um and we'll pop through uaf space load up and oh wait the affiliate package i almost forgot i almost forgot about the affiliate package currently preparing oh i came back too soon my mistake my mistake uh let's go to to auroria 350 marines another 300 marines how magnificent this is what we wanted this is indeed what we wanted we now have 993 marines um we have 276 heavy armaments spectacular uh let's just go ahead and pick up uh, a whole load of supplies while we're uh while we're at it uh, fuel wise we're fine for the time being we will go pick up more marines though over here at lunar moon oh oh <laughs> there we go we now have 1580 marines we've got to check the bars sometimes you can hire marines from the bars as well um mm, oh Nope, nope, nope. Right, let's get back to Favonius. Or to Lachesis, should I say. And we will uh, get ourselves over to Galatia and begin the invasion. And here we are. Back at Ansira. 
it is time to uh, engage the defenders really okay if we have to this seems a little i don't i can't believe we can auto resolve this but uh uh full assault let's just 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 kill them as quick as you can guys we have an invasion to win <laughs> we have an invasion to win just uh just blast them yeah just uh just blast them that's it go on in you go finish them off they're so keen on just actually fighting us and not ignoring us then we will uh remove them from the space that they were in so that we may continue our invasion we may continue our invasion yes indeed uh, we'll go ahead and take all and we will invade we will invade our available invasion strength this made 1028 for marines 1518 for mar heavy units way more than they have let's proceed with the invasion uh, i'll bring you guys back when these are deployed i'm not gonna like drag you through all this you know okay we have 500 deployed at the light industry 800 at spaceport 742 at patrol hq and 473 at farming we might take this in a wanna we might actually just take this in a wanna we will find out very shortly uh as the next day happens which will be right there no we do not take it in a wanna let's see how this ground battle is doing let's see how this ground battle is doing let's see the the light industry is almost taken the farmland is taken and it, well they the polar patrol hq and the spaceport are actually holding very very well fine fine no problem you know what if that's the case we will go ahead and just further reinforce the spaceport and we will further reinforce the patrol hq and just make it a sure thing and uh then we'll just wait a day which won't take any th 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 they still oh hegemony ascending a counter invasion 18 days till arrival i'm looking forward to that fight uh let's go ahead and open this ground battle up we have taken the light industry oh okay yeah we can just sit back on our laurels we can just sit back on our laurels and bam we have taken and Sira. Oh, wonderful. We have our first. Wait. No, it went to the Aurorans. Interesting. Didn't go to our faction. It went to the Aurorans. Not sure how I feel about that. Is it time that we leave our commission? Hmm. No, oh, I don't think I don't think we can leave our commission, can we? I don't think so. I don't think we can do that. I mean, I mean, obviously we can, but I don't think we should. I don't think we should. Hmm. We will uh, we will sit this out here for a moment for a few days until that that counter invasion fleet arrives. Um, out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. Governorship. 360,000. This tempting. Here comes the counter invasion force. Oh my goodness. That is a fleet. <laughs> I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save the game. <laughs> this is possibly going to be the largest battle we have done in this let's play possibly come on in come on in you want to go let's go four onslaughts four onslaughts two dominators a mora i'm not even sure what a mora is two eagles three falcons let's go let's go all deploy it all for this battle most definitely most definitely avenger here i go for those side flanks everyone else forwards 
forwards to battle. <laughs> ah, beating down the hegemony. There isn't much a better taste in the mornings. I realize that sentence made absolutely no sense whatsoever. There isn't much a better taste. Yes, that is the English language for you. Um, I am a native English speaker and I cannot speak it. <laughs> oh, okay. Battle begins. A falcon has made its way forwards. And probably isn't going to be in the battle for much longer. There it goes. There's another falcon over there. There's another falcon over here. It is time for those falcons to die. Right, let's go ahead and get a, a better view for you guys. And there goes that falcon. Magnificent. Their fleet is coming in. Frame rate is dropping a little bit. It's, it's hitching a little bit. It's hitching. I guess that's what you get when there's eight capital ships in this battle. There are eight capital ships in this battle. <laughs> Four onslaughts. Two Nuxorias. An Isonoria and a Zaporia. In one battle. It's glorious. It's beautiful. It's stunning. They are so heavily armored. Their ships are just so heavily armored. Hmm. Oh, that, that Dominator looks like it should go down. I think that's a Dominator. Yeah, it is, yeah. Frame rate issues a little bit. A little, little bit of frame rate issues. The Raffles here is heading in. The Raffles here is heading in. Looks like it's going for the Condor. Looks like it's going for the Condor. There's the first bomb. There's the second bomb. Ooh, unlucky. Couple of misses there, Raffles, yeah. Unlucky, sweetheart. It's okay. We still love you. You, you. you tried. You tried and you did a good job. Oh! Woo! There's a bit of semi-breathe action for you. In slow motion. In slow motion. <laughs> As the game slows itself down in order to stay smooth for you. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. These onslaughts uh, are definitely going to be putting up a fight. But I believe that uh, they won't be being able to put they won't be able to put up enough of a fight with how much we can throw at them ordnance wise. I'm surprised this condor isn't dead yet, honestly. Very surprised this condor isn't dead yet. Very surprised this condor isn't dead yet. Then again, it doesn't really have any fighters on it at the moment. It doesn't really have any fighters on it at the moment. In fact, a lot of our fighters are currently dead. Um, which is interesting. The uh, onslaughts appear to have a decent amount of PD on them. Which is uh, going to make this a lot more challenging. Going to make this a lot more challenging. But also just big strikes. Yeah, there is a lot of PD coming out of these onslaughts. There is a lot of... Oh, God. Do not do that. My bad. There's a lot of PD coming out of these onslaughts. I think it's going to be time for us to... First, let's get some focus fire down on that. Wait, the Mirai! What is the Mirai doing all the way up there? <laughs> Mirai! You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh! That nuke, unfortunately, has done nothing but uh, hit our own ships. The Mora is down. That's excellent to see. Can we get rid of this Condor, please? Yeah, there it goes. The Raffles is going to finish it off. Boom. Oh, it's a griffin, not a condor. My bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the Zaporia firing lots of missiles. 
Oh, look at those trees. Look, look at those trees go. Woohoo! Those trees is firing. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. The onslaughts are staying grouped, which is absolutely the smart thing to do. When you're playing against the flat, like a carrier doctrine fleet, the smart thing to do is to keep your fleet nice and tight. Um, because it means the fighters have a much harder time of like their of, of, of getting their hit and run tactics off, you know. They like slide in, do their damage, get out normally. But then when they're nice and tight in, there's a much higher chance of the, the PD from all of the ships taking them down. Um, but I think we are going to start overwhelming the armor on these onslaughts um, and getting some damage in. The raffles here. Oh, go on, baby. Oh, no, she's going to die. Oh, unlucky raffles here. You tried, sweetheart. You tried. You tried. You tried. You did try. You did try. Um, Nuke Zoria, you don't have any more semi-briefs for this fight, do you? I don't believe you have any more semi-briefs for this fight. Uh, you fired two, and I think that's the maximum you get. I think you get two. Um, I've never seen you fire a third one in the battle, so I'm pretty sure it's two. Um, the Isonoria is kind of useless now. Um, the Avenger, I'm going to tell to retreat. Uh, retreat. And, oh no, don't retreat that way. Uh... And I'm also going to tell the Mirai to retreat because their combat readiness is going to start dropping rapidly. And that is going to be a real negative for us. Let's see here. Let's see. Ooh, big hits on this onslaught. That's lovely to see. That's wonderful to see. It's front left armor is completely exposed now. Front left armor is completely exposed. Woo! This is, uh, I mean, four onslaughts. Four onslaughts is a... There you go. Three onslaughts now. <laughs> Three onslaughts now. But four onslaughts is a serious threat. But that is, that is not something you just, you know, you overcome willy-nilly every day. That's for sure. That is for sure. No, no, no. You do not. But uh, we are surrounding them at this point. We are surrounding them. And uh, all the Novarskis are coming in for a big strafing run on that onslaught. A huge strafing run from the Novarskis there. Very, very nice work. Very, very nice work, pilots. Excellent. That onslaught is going to be down any moment soon. The Jotun's combat readiness is going to start decreasing soon. Roger that, Jotun. We'll keep you in the fight for now, but we will uh, we will get you out shortly. We will get you out shortly. Um, so this, this onslaught should go down on the next sort of big attack. Uh, this onslaught is currently overwhelmed, but isn't doesn't seem to be taking too much damage. Uh, oh, there's another semi-brief. There's another semi-brief. Is it going to hit anything, though? Is it going to actually hit anything? I don't think it's going to hit anything. It's not going to hit anything. That is... unfortunate. <laughs> but we did take out another of the onslaughts. This onslaught uh, doesn't have long left either. And with only one onslaught left, we will most certainly overwhelm it with firepower. So the battle looks like it is going to be wrapped up in our favor very, very shortly. There goes that onslaught. Everyone focus fire. One onslaught left. Overwhelm it. Destroy it. Show the hegemony who we are. <laughs> we are the waifus. We are the waifus. Excellent. Wow, that's a lot of ships retreating. That's a lot of ships retreating. There goes a troop transport. Get these Prometheuses. 
Get these Prometheuses. Interesting that they decided to call in all of these ships as reinforcements. That seems... Curious to me. That, like, right at the very end of the battle, they bring in all their support sheep ships as, 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 as reinforcements? Um, we are going to pursue, though, and take out the rest of these. So, pursue. Second in command. Uh, go ahead and take the Zaporia and the Exorias and just clean up. They got a Buffalo free. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. We're going to pick through that wreckage. We're going to pick up everything here. This is a significant sum. A significant sum. And that is a huge, huge win for us. An absolutely huge win for us. And probably, yeah, the, the, the largest battle we have ever fought in Star Sector. Or, in the, sorry, in the Waifu's Let's Play. We also just were informed that uh, the um, uh, in uh, at Irradiated Waifu's, we now have an Orbital Works. Which is magnificent. Truly, truly magnificent. Which plus twenty percent ship quality, reducing the D mods on the whole from three to two is huge for us. Really, really good. That is a step in the right direction. Most definitely. I am very, very pleased. Very, very pleased with that. Also, um soon. Soon it's going to make um waifu. Especially once the patrol HQ uh, is is no longer being disrupted, um, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. I mean, technically, we can make money right now if we switch it to a free port. We can make money right now if we switch it to a free port, um, and then we could lose money by turning it into a hazard pay. But growth would start shooting up seven percent. Um, not quite yet though. We're not quite at that point yet. Not quite at that yet point yet. But guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I have also made a decision for the end of this episode. And we are going to go ahead. And we are going to purchase the governorship. Wait, it just went up. It went up from 360 to 408. Well, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to purchase. And Syrah. Um, We're going to purchase and Syrah. Uh, and we don't actually want to hand in those AI cores. And we are going to have a look at this colony that is now ours. It is now ours. Um, we are going to assign Hemi Rosales to administrate. And uh, currently... She's going to be netting us 17,000. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can definitely... Uh, we can definitely improve that. We can definitely improve that. Uh, what, what What's this planet got? Poor farmland. It's hot. And it's habitable. Huh. Yeah, this is a terrible planet though, isn't it really? <laughs> that's fine. We will make it work. We will make it work. Um, but we will make it work at the beginning of the next episode. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Because we do only have about 20% of the people watching these videos subscribed at the moment. I'd love to get that number up. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you next time. Stay safe in the stars. Farewell.